move is almost completed. Uh, we got our stuff here, and thankfully, our stuff arrived mostly unscathed. Mostly. Now, for my... I'll, oh, wait, you don't... You, work in progress. All right, uh, when we got here, our stuff was mostly intact, but a lot of furniture was damaged, including something that I rely on very much for my day job. I do work from home, I'm at a computer eight to ten hours a day, and this chair is very important. Here's a dramatic reenactment. In actuality, there was a lot more cussing. I do have a fallback. Ewin Racing was kind enough to send me a chair to review, and it's right here in this box. So I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet. Let's get this box open. I had trouble with this box earlier, as you'll see. Yeah, it kind of almost killed me, but I got it down the stairs. <laughs> Can't find my usual knife, so I'll just be very careful. Oh my. She's pretty. All right, um, I'm gonna have to pull this out. That means I have to lug it back down to the ground again. Oh. You. Oh. And I'm already lost. Oh no, this is the base, okay. It's already a mess in here, so I want to put a nice sturdy base. Oh yeah. Oh, this already feels so nice. All right, that's up down. The important part. You may recall I used to have uh, another E-Win racing chair, the big yellow one. Uh, sadly, that one couldn't come with us on this trip. It was just too too bulky. It took up too much room in the truck and. Uh, my daughter really liked it, so I'll, I'll just uh, left that behind. But I got a new replacement. If it's anything like their previous chair, literature. You see, there a whole collab catalog there. Oh, uh, side side covers, gloves. I, maybe I should have worn these first. Uh -oh. All right, these are interesting wheels. I guess I'll have to pop it out of here. Tend it all. Alright. I put enough chairs together to kind of know how things are supposed to go. Oh, here are the instructions. Okay. Secure the cushions at the back. Yeah, I'm one of those people who reads the manual. There's a lot of steps here, I'm probably gonna edit it out. All that for hex key. Unscrew the pre-mounted. Unscrew the pre-mounted four hex pins with the hex key. Can you tell I'm holding a camera with my other hand? You know, hex keys are fine and good, but in power drill, I trust. This go into here. Yeah. So, I think. Oh, yeah, like that. Here we go this way. No. These pop out. Do they? No, they're not the same. So, so this one goes on this side. I should bring the gloves so I can pretend I'm Mickey Mouse. I'm going to go ahead and put this part on now. Each part of this chair is so heavy. Now these goes here. Like there, like so, hey. One goes in there. No matter the chair, this part is always tricky. Would it help if I spit on it? Maybe it doesn't have to line up with that. All right. Get in. All right, we do this hard way. No, get out of my way. Usually they mark which side is the front. A little bit of advice. Whenever you have a chair like this that you have to put together, hang on to the Allen wrenches because every few months you, you're going to want to go in here and retighten everything. I mean everything. It's amazing how much these can loosen more power, man. Now, other half of the chair. Also, with any chair like this, if you have a cat, 
these wheels will get gunked up. Can I hear? Fight it, fight it, fight it. All right. Get on. Here's our bumper. This part goes here. Whoa. This chair is so heavy. I get the need for the gloves now. I, my hands are covered in grease. Don't need those anymore. Looks like it came with some extra hardware and maybe some things to secure these little plastic thingies on the side, which I will do in a second. But yeah, this is a comfortable chair. I do miss that old yellow chair, but this one I think is gonna do just fine. And it shows up on camera pretty nice. That was part one. I'm going to use the chair for the course of a week, see how it feels, see if I can sit on it for a 10 hour day. And I'll, I'll give my final review at that point. Maybe some status reports in between. I earned this. Okay, some time has passed. See the beard. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been still in the middle of moving, having to fix all the things that were broken, rebuilding things and redesigning the studio. Forgive the mess, it's still a work in progress. I spent time using the chair. Uh, so I spent a full week at my desk. I sit at a computer all day for my day job. And I needed my chair to be more this and less this. And I have to say, this is a very comfortable chair. Compared to the, the previous Ewin racing chair I had before, the, the back pillow was a little harsh. It was a little big and it kind of hit me funny. This one hits me in all the right places. It's like right at the base of my neck. I could seriously fall asleep, but, but I don't during work hours because that would be wrong. The lumbar pillow is adjustable. Uh, the armrests, very adjustable. The same as the other chair that's got three or four different axes of movement. I pretty much pick one direction and leave them there. So I've spent a few eight to 10 hour, really, work days just sitting at this chair and no complaints, really, no complaints at all. That being said, I also spent a few hours gaming at this chair and it works really well. Uh, it works really well with VR. I've yet to try it with flight simulators because I just don't have my joysticks set up yet. But you can do a lot with this chair. It rocks, lock it back, and you really can fall asleep in this. But I'm not going to because I'm in the middle of a review. It's not real leather. It's, uh, I think they call it PL leather. It's a fake leather or vinyl, but it, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty sturdy. I've yet to see a cat put a puncture in this. My only uh, real complaint is kind of just a nitpicky thing, and it's not even against the chair itself, but with the instructions to put it together, there were a couple of steps that weren't fully clear to me. Uh, it looks like they have a general instructions for several models and they don't all seem to made up. There's a couple of things that aren't fully clear from these little illustrations, but if I had sat down and really studied the instructions first and I got a cocky since I built one of these already, I thought I knew it all. So I did get a little lost. For, for about five minutes. And then the whole embarrassing part of putting a part on backwards, but we'll never speak of that again. That's not against the chair itself. The chair itself is great. I'm giving it five Bs. It's comfortable, it's sturdy, it feels very solid. It doesn't wiggle when you don't want it to. And it doesn't creak, which is good if you're streaming or shooting video like I am right now. Some chairs, when you do what I'm doing now, it would creak, but this one doesn't, it's rock solid. It's very quiet. The wheels are also very quiet. I'm on a concrete floor right now and you can't really hear it. Ow, my toe. But that's, so that's it for the review. I'll leave a link in the description with a code so you can get one of your own at a discount. A big thanks to Ewin Racing. Love the chair. And I think you'll be pleased with it yourself. Now I have to get back to putting this mess together. And I'll be doing more reviews of other things in the future. If you like that, please leave a comment. And I'm also going to be reviewing other types of things too. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment the bell. You know the usual YouTube stuff. This is The Newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles.